Hello, Tommy Dean. This is your teacher. Uh, we're going to go over our next worksheet from uh, lesson six and seven. We're conjugating the verbs in those two lessons. Uh, so I will read through them. This is a Zamanavar or the past tense. Uh, we do have the infinitive over here in case you need it. We probably won't need it in the unit itself, but you may want it. So um, we're first going to do cross over. Uh, to cross over is la avor, la avor. Uh, I passed. Remember, it's got the T because of a knee. Avarti, you passed. Avarta. You feminine, avart. He crossed over, which is also the root, avar. She crossed over, avra. We crossed over, avarnu. You masculine plural past. So we're going to do uh, the, the plurals, plural use now. Uh, avartem. You feminine plural, avartem. They crossed over, avaru. Next, we're going to look at send. You use send a lot. Shlach. To send is lishloach. So I sent, shlachti, you masculine, shlachta, you feminine, shlacht. He sent, shlach, she, Shalcha, we, shalachnu, you, masculine plural, shalachtem, you, feminine plural, shalachten, they, shalhu. Sit, settle, or reside. You can use any of these when you use these words, depending on the sentence. To sit is la shevet. I sat, yeshavti, you, yeshavta, you feminine, yeshavt, he sat, yeshav, she, yashva, we, yeshavnu, you masculine plural, yeshavten, you feminine plural, yeshavten, they sat, yashvu. I guess by now you realize that on the, the plurals, the you plurals, uh, it's tem and ten because um, the noun or the pronoun for you masculine plural is a tem and for you feminine plural is a ten. Next, we're going to do eat. To eat, le hol, I ate, a khalti, you masculine, a khalta. You feminine, a halt. He ate, a hal. She ate, a chla. We, a halnu. You masculine plural, a haltem. You feminine plural, a halten. And they ate, a chlu. The last one is say. To say lomar. So I said amarti, you masculine, amarta, you feminine, amart. He said amar, she said amra, we amarnu, you masculine plural, amartem, you feminine plural, amarten, and they said amru. So that's our verbs for these next two lessons. So now we're going to look at the prepositions. Most of the time, the prepositions are added to the beginning of the word. Not always. We do have a word, um, mean and L, from and to, but a lot of the times they will just add it to the word. So contractions, I guess you would call them like be is in, with, or on, ke, like, or as, le, to, or for, and me, from, from mean. 
When the vowel under the preposition is spatak or kamatz, then the article is specific. So we have some uh, examples here. Av is father. If you want to say to a father, it's la av, la being two or four. If you want to say the father, it's ha av. If you want to say to the father, then it's a combination of the la and the ha for la, la av. Same thing with house, bite is house. If you want to say in a house, babite. If you want to say the house, habite. If you want to say in the house, ba bite, because it's got the bet and the hey for ba. So I put all the pronouns on this chart. Uh, so you would have them there right to look at. And remember these pronouns, pronouns will help you with conjugating your verbs, and it will also help you with endings for nouns. So I is ani, or in the biblical Hebrew, you will see anoki. You masculine singular is ata, you feminine singular is at. He is who, and she is he. So that's first person, second person, and third person. Uh, the plurals are anaknu, which is we. You masculine plural is atem. Remember the ending of the conjugated verbs ended with tem, if it was masculine plural. Uh, you feminine plural is aten, and so the verbs ended with ten. They, you, they do have masculine and feminine. You don't see them a lot in biblical Hebrew, but they're there, so you probably want to learn them. You'll either see them as hem and hen, which is more conversational Hebrew, and then uh, biblical Hebrew, you'll see hema and henna. So those are all your pronouns, so you'll have them right here to, to look at. Now, the next thing I did on this sheet to kind of help everybody is I put the some of the words that we've had so far uh whether they're masculine feminine you definitely need to know the words uh whether they're masculine or feminine because it will uh tell you if you're supposed to use masculine or feminine adjectives uh verbs so uh plurals or whatever you're going to use you'll have to know whether it's masculine or feminine and then I put uh, the, the plurals. Now, the ones that are the most confusing or they don't really make a whole lot of sense is a uh, man, which is ish. And then men is anashim. So that doesn't seem to be the regular way to conjugate or develop a plural from a singular noun. So that's one that you'll probably want to look at. And then Isha, which is woman, is Nashim. So men is Anashim, women is just Nashim. Most of the others I think are pretty um, regular. If it's um, feminine, it should end in an Oat. If it's masculine, it'll end in an Im. Uh, father is irregular because it's masculine of, but it's avot. So the ot is ten, tends to be feminine. Um, I think most of the other ones are pretty normal. So I hope this helps you in your lessons on lesson six and seven.